Hey guys, welcome to G's vlog. So, at least six Niger soldiers and um, ten suspected terrorists have been confirmed killed during um, fighting in the west of the of the country, the Niger. Um, Niger. So, this happened um, on Sunday. Authorities said, you understand. So, a statement by by National Guard High Command on Sunday, reported by the Daily Star, said that suspected Islamic jihadists on motorcycles ambushed the troops near the western town of Sanam. So in case you want to know more, this Sanam is um is close to a border. It's probably a border that bordered uh, Mali, Burkina Faso, just like um, a border that is connecting three countries, Niger, Burkina Faso and Mali. Okay? And um, even on the 9th, 9th of this August, five soldiers were was also killed at that same that same place okay so now remember that i told you guys about the westerners um you know their own way of using proxies as they they will, they will explore different options because this is how they do they try to attack it from all directions they are pushing ECOWAS, pushing terrorists from behind using sanctions they will use everything then their western their um their media trial they are very good in that media propaganda okay and as they are doing this, they, uh, as the Westerners are doing this, they will probably be looking for someone that is closer to the um, to the seat of power, to the seat of power, you know, to actually use the person to um, do something else to the power. You know, they will be striking from different direction. It's normal with them. It's normal thing. But what I don't understand is, I, I wouldn't say what I don't understand because. Um, I, I kind of understand their propaganda, but sometimes they come with surprises, okay? So, remember that uh, in my previous video, I talked about um, French, uh, France, uh, that, is, that is French, French, uh, what is it called, military in Niger, that they have not been uh, lifted yet. They are still there, okay? So, uh, what are they doing there? To the extent that they look well prepared, they look like they have something. They have something. They are waiting for order. They are military, of course. They are waiting for order, and they can't go otherwise if the president decides to give them any order. But for them to still be there means that these guys are cooking something. Because in my previous, in my previous content, I explained how um, I, I, I told you guys about uh, Macron, the president of France, what he said about. The whole thing and how he's um he's having issue with you know he's disagreeing with president of united states because of the way they want to do, go about it now confusions they're acting as if they are disagreeing they are doing this they're doing that but they will use their proxy one of their proxies to be you know causing damage to keep niger busy until they decide on what to do okay so probably i think what they are doing now is using these proxies to cause problem to see the type of arms that um, Niger military will roll out to know if if um, Wagner uh, is going to react or if the um, the military uh, the, the Niger military will roll out any weapon that was supplied to them by Russia or if Russia will supply them anything. I think they just don't want to strike immediately until they understand the type of ammunition they have received or they're about to receive from yeah from russia you know uh because they already knew that they're not going to fight this fight alone it has gotten to the to the i mean everybody in the world now are paying attention to know what is going to happen and it is going to be a a, a messy fight oh so, what do you guys think comment like and share thanks